Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to um, present you some details about um, Dictate project. So, let me say something about Dictate, a voice uh, mediated system for structured entry of medical data. Uh, during my presentation, I would like to give you some uh, basic uh, information, uh, tell you the benefits, goals, functionality, and architecture, some results and impact of the project. Later on, I hope we will have time for some questions. In case we don't, don't let, uh, hesitate to contact me on the stand. I will be um, ready to answer all your questions or show you supporting other presentations with other details. In the beginning, the general info about the project. Uh, the project started in, in July 2002 and finished in September 2005. We have some numbers who is interested. Uh, we had seven participating companies uh, from five different European countries with two pilots, uh, two different hospitals um, or chains of hospitals in two countries. The project dictate was clustered into MMD, which uh, stands for mobile medical device, and I'll elaborate on that later on. And as you can see, the current status, the project was uh, successfully finalized. We have two prototypes, and I'll also talk about those later. In the very beginning, let me state that, uh, that the final result or the main result is an innovative platform for the translation of the doctor's medical data entry into a standard format. Uh, the format follows the standard, uh, standards uh, and standardization for diseases, symptoms, uh, medication and other categorization. Dictate is utilizing the latest advances in structured doc document representation, automated speech recognition, and natural language process pro processing. Objectives of the projects were the following. We wanted to increase the quality of service provided in European hospitals to all patients by enhancing the efficiency of record uh, uh, generation. We wanted uh, to uh, store maximum information on the diagnostic spot directly on the side of the bed of the patient. And we wanted uh, to minimize the effort from the health professionals. Of course, with all these, we would like uh, and we achieved the reduction of uh, costs incurred. Uh, the Dictate project placed strong emphasis on closing the gap existing between uh, the general practitioners' need to express themselves as freely as possible and enter these information in a structured text and data form into uh, hospital information systems. The automation uh, in translation of the free text input was done in structured format, which followed, again, as I mentioned before, the standards and me medical taxonomies. The goal of project was to design, develop, and validate the system and platform. All the co uh, concept of the dictate was to increase the efficiency of the doctors. The cu current procedure, as it goes in hospitals nowadays, is the following. Doctor handwrites the remarks of the finding in the examining of the patient, uh, gives this recording uh, of voice uh, to administra administrative personnel who will uh, enter this input into the EHR system. Either um, third personnel or the GP himself later on will do so. Then the doctor reviews the data uh, on a printout, validates it, and uh, corrects if necessary, and all the process is fi finalized. With the Dictate project, we achieved uh, the possibility for the doctor that um, the doctorate will dictate directly or writes the findings. 
uh, uh, he will immediately have the chance to re review um, the findings and validate it and uh, with uh, electronic signature entered through the device into the uh, EHR. Advantages would be sp uh, the spare time, we will save the time, we will lower the administration, lower the costs, uh, we will uh, achieve the structured entry as the format of the message is preset for that and we will uh, uh, lower the error rate significantly. In this slide you can see the structured architecture. Uh, we have uh, the mobile device in here, a wireless network in this section, and the centralized hospital system. What exactly is uh, the cluster of the MMDs? So the medical device, uh, um, medical mobile device, focuses on using speech recognition through the inter interface of uh, such a device. We used a PDF, PDA. Thus, the data entry becomes mobile. It can be done directly on the side of the bed or on the side of the examining room. Uh, we achieved uh, mainly the secure, secure voice data entry uh, accompanied by automated medical coding, interoperability and e-signature. Functionalities of dictate belongs to um, all medical professionals' needs for diagnosing and reporting. So, retrieval ex of examinations, voice entry or voice navigation, medical coding, medical guidelines provision, or diagnosis storing and electronic signature are all possible. In this way, Mm, we want to produce accurate records and improve uh, patient's care and the quality of service. Among the strategic contribution of the project belong the closing of the gap between the point where the information is uh, collected and used and entering it into the hospital EHR. Uh, by producing the, uh, an integrated handheld medical mobile platform uh, where we uh, use commercialized um, uh, hardware and software, uh, we accompanied it uh, with the project specific um, components and we prepared uh, the device ready to be used for the GM GPs. Main innovative points uh, uh, of the system are mainly entering data in natural way, which are stored in structured way, by exploiting the natural language uh, processing and automatic speech recognition. The central system is supported by user-friendly interface and the smart smart card interoperability. Uh, as I said, the smart cards were allowing us the e-signature. In here you can have a um, more precise idea about the prototype. You can see uh, the PDA with a Wi-Fi network antenna and adapter, a backlight color display which also functions as a touch screen and a built-in microphone. Here on the left side of the slide we can see how, how the technical concept is mm, structured. We have the uh, device in here, wireless communication access point, plus on the left side of the slide, system side of all. In here, uh, these two sequences show us uh, the functionalities that the project has. We have voice navigation, e-signature, self-learning, uh, natural language processing, using of the st standards. We can use the SENPRI um, environment. We can link to the medical guidelines if the GP wishes so or needs so. We can store results to the smart card or directly to the um, uh, hospital information system uh, and we can enhance the um, um, 
automated speech recognition if we need so. Uh, how the, uh, the dictate project contribute uh, to a mid-term research in natural language processing and other innovative functionalities were brought by it like linking medical guidelines, voice navigation, automated speech recognition performance and enhancement self-learning uh, natural language uh, processing and uh, expanded interoperability covering the medical uh, standards. Uh, in the project we have two pilots who participated and helped and actually validated. Uh, the first one uh, was using uh, the device in the field of uh, head MRI and the second pilot was using it in the field of endoscopy. Here is a um, more extended uh, introduction of the pilot. The first, the Italian one, is actually a regional chain of hospitals who is uh, uh, servicing 20,000 uh, examinations per year. The second pilot was actually a chain of diagnosis centers who uh, were servicing about 600 patient, patients per day. The main results of the project is uh, the platform, which um, is composed of an advanced set of functionalities offered by, as I mentioned before, um, multimodal mobile device, server application, and the wireless communication system in between. Uh, the core results of uh, the projects and the solutions used in Dictate were the national, uh, natural language uh, processing, medical coding interoperability, the smart card interoperability mecha mechanism, secure module, electronic signature using smart cards again, and uh, medical guidelines mechanism. To customize uh, the project and use it now, all we need is uh, uh, the language uh, it actually focuses on. So far, the two prototypes are in two languages, English and Italian. Uh, and we need to enforce the actual medical domain focus, which is so far endoscopy and radiology, but there is no big worries in extending these. The interoperability integration, as we said, uh, as I said before, we use the national uh, standards, so there is no need uh, into adaptation of the inter uh, interoperability to your health uh, information system, hospital in the information system. And for further development, of course, we can still find the fields like regular updates concerning the codes and the guidelines. Uh, we can enhance the um, platform with uh, new functionalities such as uh, barcode reading of the patient details or patient identification. And of course, we need to do a further research and development. Our target audience for the prototypes uh, from now on are four basic um, groups. The health professionals as the, the end users, the GPs themselves, the health organizations as the customers of the system, healthcare authorities as decision makers who will tell us to um, buy the system, and IT vendors or IT industry who will vendor all the application. And here again, a short summary uh, of what it brings in a structured way. So it's the mo mobility and flexibility of the work, reduction of medical errors, better patient care and uh, patient satisfaction, increased revenue of physicians and hospitals. Among the benefits, we can see an ambitious uh, structure unambiguous structured standardized input for the data, uh, point of access to clinical data, no wires requirement required for data transmission, free speech dictation, structured uh, output, ability to capture the accurate clinical codes. The features once again, wireless data transmission and speech recognition and language process. 
processing. The main benefits brought to the health professionals were real mobile, mobile solution to ecumenal um, and to use the preloaded diagnosis. So there is no need to dictate the whole diagnosis. The um, G, uh, GP will all only um, edit the preloaded diagnose to change what is different, what will not be suitable for this one patient. Only the parts where the chain, change in data uh, happened will be uploaded to the system, so it saves time uh, and effort. Uh, and uh, the verification of the system output can be done immediately by the doctor, as I said before. The benefit is in the whole way the doctor works, and that doesn't change, it only saves the time and effort. Here, a screen which again talks about uh, the impact uh, for all uh, social di dimension and uh, the contribution uh, to s uh, social objectives. Mainly, as I said, reducing cost and time, improving one working conditions, and last but not least, the environment protection. Thank you very much for your attention.